Hello students, I am assistant professor Parun Kumar Dash. Come back again for you. In my last video, I have discussed with you about the citric acid, and today I will discuss about the succinic acid. What is the IUPAC name of the succinic acid? The IUPAC name of the succinic acid is the butyric diuric acid. In your examination, the question will come about the succinic acid. In place of the succinic acid, the question will write butyric diuric acid. Don't be anxious. The question will ask about the succinic acid. Okay. So I have written here another name as well as the IPAC name in the two stanza. Both are the butyric diuric acid. Okay. If the question will ask what is the IUPAC name of the succinic acid, the question will be butyric diuric acid. And if some question will ask about the butyric diuric acid, then also you understand the question will discuss about the succinic acid. Okay. Now, the method of the preparation of the succinic acid. There are the two methods of preparation of the succinic acid. First one, preparation from the ethylene bromide. If we react ethylene bromide with the sodium cyanide in the first step it is converted to the ethylene cyanide and if we hydrolyze the ethylene cyanide then it is converted the desired product succinic acid okay see here in the first step of reaction the ethylene bromide when it is treated with the sodium cyanide it is converted to the ethylene cyanide and in the second reaction when it is got hydrolyzed, then it is converted to the succinic acid. Okay. Next method, it is basically industrial method. In industry, they prepare succinic acid by this method. What will the method? The method is the, the catalytic reduction of the malic acid. When the malic acid got the catalytic reduction, catalysis means they have present the nickel, cobalt, etc when the catalytic reactions of the malic acid under the heat then it is converted to the succinic acid okay it is that method when malic acid got the catalytic reaction and it is converted when malic acid is the catalytic reaction it is converted to the succinic acid okay under the heat next the physical properties of the succinic acid number one it is one monoclinic prism its structure is the monoclinic prism second its melting point is about 188 degrees celsius to 190 degrees celsius and it is moderately soluble in water but it is soluble in the ethyl alcohol and ether it is all about the physical properties of the succinic acid now I am discussing about the chemical properties. Number one, action of the heat. If the succinic acid is heated more or less 300 degrees Celsius temperature, then it is converted to the succinic anhydride along with water. Okay, succinic anhydride is formed when succinic acid is heated at 300 degrees Celsius temperature, it is converted to the succinic anhydride along with the water. Okay. Next is the reaction with the ammonia. See here, when succinic acid is treated with the ammonia, in the first reaction, it is converted to the ammonium succinate. But if we heat it again, the ammonium succinate at more or less 300 degrees Celsius temperature, then it is converted to the succinimide. And if we treated the succinimide, by the alkaline solution of the bromine at 0 degree Celsius temperature, then it is converted to the N-bromosuccinamide and it is short form known as the NBS. Your question in the short question will come, what is NBS? NBS is nothing but N-bromosuccinamide, okay? And it is very important reagent for the, for the allylic substitution of the bromination. For the allylic bromination, NBS is one most important reagent. Okay, so what is the full form of the 
NBS, the full form of the NBS is the N bromo succinimide. Okay. The third reaction is the electrolysis of the potassium salt. When we electrolyze the potassium succinate in the anode part, the succinate ion, which is the unstable form, is deposited. And this succinate ion is converted to the ethylene in the final stage. Okay. See here, I am seeing you the both reaction. Here, in the first reaction, the succinic acid reacts with the ammonia. Okay. And then it is heated under 300 degrees Celsius temperature. And in the next step, it is treated with the alkaline bromine solution at 0 degrees Celsius. And ultimately, NBS is produced. In bromo succinimide is produced. Okay. And in this reaction, see here, here the potassium succinate when electrolysis at the anode, the unstable succinate ion is deposited and it is finally produces the ethylene. Okay. And last of the succinic acid is the use. It is main use is the gravimetric analysis of the acid base titration. Succinic acid is used here as a standard substance. Okay. In gravimetric analysis of the acid base titration, it is used as standard substance. Next, it is used in the manufacturing of the dye. Okay. It is overall the succinic acid before the completion. Those who are interested, they can take the screenshot of my note. Thank you everyone. If you feel any doubt, you can contact with me in my WhatsApp number 9804-91-5527 or email me on kranqumardas103 at the rate gmail.com. Thank you. Take care everyone. Be cautious. Be safe. Stay on the home and sincere on your study. Have a good day.